In my last video, I uh, did a comparison of the mini whip antenna to an 80 meter off center fed dipole, and I showed the reception below 500 kilohertz, the VLF band. I said I might do another video showing uh, the AM broadcast band and above through the shortwave bands. So if you haven't seen the previous video, you might want to check that out. I'll leave a link in the description below. So we'll start off AM broadcast band at the low end. You can see when I switch antennas on the display, antenna one or antenna two. Antenna one is the dipole, antenna two is the mini whip antenna. Tomorrow night, lows level off around 47. Overcast skies, Monday, decreasing clouds by Tuesday. Highs in the upper 60s. One winner will be awarded a 2016 Camaro or $17,000 cash. The Camaro is no ordinary car, and this is no ordinary giveaway. Don't miss it. And throw on by now at countryradiocontest.com. This is the Nashville's legendary country music venue. Get the live show or check out a honky tonk. The ultimate Nashville weekend getaway. Courtesy of O'Reilly Auto Parts. Better parts, better prices, every day. We'll move a little higher in frequency now, out of the AM broadcast band, up into the shortwave frequencies. And like I said in the previous video, my main use for the mini whip antenna is for below 500 kilohertz reception. It's not an antenna you can transmit into. So as you can see, the mini whip is working well up into the short wave frequencies. I switch back and forth depending on conditions and time of day and that. Um, sometimes one will work better than the other. Sometimes the dipole is better, sometimes the mini whip. So like I say, for more information on uh, my setup, you might want to check out the previous video. So thanks for watching, 7-3 from WD0AKX.